Hi everyone, this is John Dickinson back with another Substance Painter tip for you. I'm still working on this boot model and currently I'm working on the inner lining here and this has got this interesting mesh pattern here and I come up against a situation where I wanted to have two different types of bump or height detail one on the on the inside and one on the outside so I thought I'd record a quick walkthrough of the steps I took to set this up let's take a look so let's just walk through the setup that I've created first of all I've added a fill layer and this one is using a material called woven black this is a substance material I'm pretty sure I got this from substance source so this is going to be the lower or the inside material and above that I've added another fill layer I'm going to turn that on you're not going to see anything because everything's turned off at the moment now I've added a black mask to that and to the black mask I've added another fill and in grayscale I've added this metallic great round alpha just drop that in there and just made some adjustments to the scale and to the tiling and to the position just turn that on you're not going to see very much if I just alt click on the mask I can see that more clearly so currently you can see that this top fill layer is inheriting the height detail from the layer below if we turn that off you can see it no longer shows that height detail now I don't want this top layer to show any of the height detail from the layer below because we're going to treat these as two separate materials so the key here is to change this layers blend mode from linear dodge which is its default to normal now you're still not going to see any change that's because for this actual layer height is actually turned off the height channel is turned off I'm using the height information on a fill effect applied to this layer so I've just chosen to add a fill and you can see that that has height turned on and height is set to 1 so if I turn that on now you can see we're not inheriting that height detail from the layer below if I bring this back to linear dodge there you go that's not what we want take it back to normal so that's added the height information to the mesh which is good and not inheriting any of that detail from below so now I can add the height detail that I want above this so with another fill effect I've chosen the fibers alpha turn that on and I've also controlled that by choosing height and adjusting the height amount in here and I've added some variation to that by duplicating it and changing that to velvet so turn that one on and that's also controlled here just by adjusting this slider and I could add a bunch of layers above here as many as I wanted to create a more organic random look so I get a lot more control over my height details rather than just turning height on here and just adding the alpha in here and this allows me to really easily be able to combine these together to create just the look I'm after and we're not inheriting any of that height detail from the layers below now I'm going to go ahead and keep working on this to get this looking exactly how I want it but uh, for now I hope you found that useful this is John Dickinson I'll see you in another tip